everybody, it's me, Cory T, and in this video I want to talk about one thing that I think is so important and so powerful in the process of deepening your self-love and becoming more confident in yourself. And I talk about it all the time because I see it over and over and over again with my clients, and that is this need for external validation because we're always doing it. We're always looking outside of ourselves to feel that sense of I'm enough, I'm good enough, and I'm worthy of what I want. We're looking outside of ourselves for the proof, for the evidence. And that might be that you need reassurance at work or that you need your specific person to say a certain thing or your partner to say a certain thing. Or it might be that you really want someone to react to you in a particular way and then you get really upset when they don't. And the reason for that is because you're outsourcing your sense of self-love, you're outsourcing it. So my biggest, biggest tip for you is to stop asking for reassurance and stop looking for validation and to really notice when you're doing it. Do like an inventory of the way that you've been behaving lately and look for the ways that you've been seeking external validation. Write them down and just observe them and notice how you feel and how you would feel if you didn't do those things. Because at first that might be quite scary because you want the reassurance, because you're used to doing that, because that's been your pattern. But what seeking external validation does is it makes us powerless because it makes us dependent on outside of us to give us this feeling of comfort. We get like a temporary high. It's almost like an addiction, honestly. And the world has this addiction because it's the way that we've been brought up in society and we're breaking that now. <laughs> Slowly but surely, the awareness that we're building in this community and in the world is breaking this need for external validation and deepening our sense of self-love. Right, so for example, the way that I saw the transformation and the power of stopping looking for validation for me in one of the areas of my life was when I stopped asking for reassurance about if my music was good enough, if my songs were good enough, or if really anything I did was good enough. But it was particularly useful when I was at uni because when I started uni doing my master's degree, I was really nervous about what everybody thought of me. I wanted to be the best. And really, deep down, I knew I was really good at songwriting, but the thing was that I was outsourcing my sense of I'm enough by wanting everybody else to see that I was the best. I was the really, really great one in the class. And I wanted everybody else to know that. And by me knowing that they knew that, I would feel good enough. And so every week I'd go in and I'd show one of my songs and I'd, my heart would be racing and I'd be really nervous. And sometimes people would be like, wow, that was amazing. And I'd feel great for about 20 minutes. And then I'd be asking questions like, are you sure? Like, was it okay? Did you like, was there anything that you think I should change? Or I was asking for reassurance and I was acting really, really underconfident. And also I was really, really wanting reassurance and validation from my family if I played them one of my songs and they said, oh, I think you should change this bit or I'm not really sure about that bit or I don't really know what this song is about, then I would be like distraught and really defensive. And it made me feel like I was so dependent on what other people thought in order for me to feel good enough about what I was doing. And I, I just couldn't live like that. And so actually I did an entire project that was designed for me to write songs, be in my flow, use my creativity, and not once ask for reassurance, not once ask for validation or support or assurance that I'm a good songwriter, that I'm on the right track, that I'm good enough. And what came of that was this immense love for what I was doing, this pride in what I was doing, this ownership of what I was doing, and I no longer need ever to ask for reassurance. And if I do, I can take any feedback that I get without being defensive because I've got this deep sense of knowing and trust within myself that I know I'm a good songwriter. I know I'm good enough and I don't need someone to tell me that. I've got the proof because I've got the feeling within and I don't need to outsource it. But the thing is, this is just one example of one area of your life that you might find yourself doing this at work or in relationships or anywhere else. 
but look at the ways that you are seeking external validation because you don't want to be on this roller coaster you don't want to do that you want to find this sense of self-love on the inside so that you can take it everywhere so that you can hear people's feedback you can hear what people have to say about you and you know that people might think good things bad things but you don't care you just don't care anymore not in the same way that you used to and if there's anything that's a criticism you can take it you can take it because you know it's not a personal attack on your worth you know it's not a personal attack on your enoughness you are infinitively enough forever that's an undebatable topic right so stop looking outside of yourself for the comfort and the safety and the proof that you're enough do an inventory of the ways that you're doing this at the moment just for one day let's say just tomorrow or just today don't ask for reassurance don't second guess yourself trust yourself and then see how you feel and then maybe try the next day and the next day and just build your confidence over time because it's not going to happen overnight okay this is like a lifetime habit for so many people but when you have the light bulb moment like oh my god i've been literally seeking validation and reassurance for like my whole life and it's created this mad roller coaster and i just don't want to do that anymore and it's particularly effective and important in relationships as well because we can feel deep pain deep sadness and deep not enoughness when someone that we are romantically interested in or that we love doesn't give us the validation that we want that hurts and that is something that you don't need to experience in the same way if you can deepen this sense of self-love and self-trust and really really validating and loving and empowering yourself and giving yourself that assurance because that's where really deep powerful self-love comes from so i hope this video has been useful i would also like to let you know that my small group manifesting session is going to be happening on the 16th of july at 7 p.m uk time so 7 p.m gmt and you can book a place on my website and i will see you in the next video bye